So let's get started. Imaging. Let's do thorax. So we've got three thorax x-rays, DV, VD and a lateral. So we've got front of dog, back of dog. We have a nice little line down here. So if I get my glow in the dark strip, I'm going to go front to back and I'm going to put that down the middle. Now I've not got it, oh that's maybe a touch far back. Not got it hugely dark at the moment, but when I turn the lights off you'll see the difference that this makes with this patient. Oh, this hair is a little bit wibbly. We've got it all sorted there. But what this gives me, you can all of a sudden see, if I bring this to the top, then we have got a thoracolumbar junction because we've got a thoracic spine and our lumbar spine. Let's get another one. And although this isn't technically for our thorax x-rays, it's going to help us if we're thinking about where we're potentially going to do our spinal x-rays. So I'm going to stick that on the top. So we've got that. But looking down to the bottom, how am I going to work out where I am if I need to do a VD? Then I want to find my manubrium and my zephysterinum. So again, I have got two little stickers. And I know you can't do this in the exam, but you can do it at home and you can get a really good idea of where you want to feel for the dog and it gives you an idea of how you're going to think in your exam when you're faced with something that doesn't actually have any bone landmarks. So obviously if we go last rib down, then we're going to have our zephysternum in the middle. And also if you leave these on later on when you're considering where you've got some landmarks for your cystogram, that is going to help you for where you're going to help to do that. So it all starts with, I think, lateral thorax, but it works for everything. And then going forward, we know we're looking for the manubrium slash thoracic inlet for our most cranial point. So we know that isn't just, you know, straight under the dog's legs because he's actually got a nice little curve of a chest coming up. So we know that actually our manubrium is going to sit in about here. Because remember that if you get a DV, don't have a panic because to include where we've just put this, you are going to have to do a bit of the back of the dog's head. Do not worry about that because that's what you normally do. It's just in our normal patients, their head would be lying slightly flatter so it wouldn't feel so bad. So there, a few simple steps. We've got a last rib. We've got a thoracolumbar junction. We have got a zephysternum and we have got a manubrium thoracic inlet. So that's your landmarks because you're going to get a lateral out of that because you're going to centre middle of the ribcage. And this dog is quite handy because it actually comes just where the seam is for your shoulder. But if you've got a VD, do you know what? All of a sudden you've got your cranial and your caudal points, then you've got the lateral skin surfaces and you're going to have to centre in the middle and collimate down. And again, following that shoulder blade right round would give you your centering point in here. The reason I'm not going to put the centering points on is you're going to end up with far too many things to focus on and I think your centering you're going to find once you find your other landmarks because the centering often is a soft tissue point so it's harder to find. So then we've got that and then as I said if you get a DV then you've got your last rib, you've got your thoracic lumbar junction so you know where the last rib is but also if you think of where the manubrium is that is coming up straight up here. So actually to collimate to include your manubrium, you are going to have to go about halfway up the dog's head. So do not worry about that. So that is three x-rays in one 